Good morning, everyone. Our day tends to start when Stella decides it's time to wake up, and today that happened to be around 7.30 in the morning. As you can see, the three of us co-sleep. Stella and I are very much morning people, Nick not so much, so we usually let him sleep in. If the baby's not too fussy, before I'll get her out of bed, I'll usually come out into the living room, clean things up a little bit, open the blinds, turn on the lights, just get everything ready, because when I have a baby in my arms, it is not so easy to do. As you may already know, Stella has a feeding tube, and to use the feeding tube, we need to use a feeding pump, and the pump is located on an IV pole. The IV pole is kind of hard to move from room to room, so at night for her night feedings, I keep it in the bedroom, and then during the day, I bring it out to the living room, where we spend most of our morning. The first thing I do with Stella is, of course, a diaper change. This is usually where I would change her clothes as well, if we had somewhere to be or if they got dirty during the night, but since it's a Saturday, we are both going to be wearing our pajamas all day long. While I already have her undressed, I take the time to clean her feeding tube. This is something I actually do multiple times throughout the day, but for the sake of this video and not being too repetitive, I only filmed it once. So keep in mind, I do this before and after every feed. Ignore my ugly dining room, I am currently redecorating, but until I get that finished, it's just going to look like this. Anyway, after I change her diaper, I will go over to the coffee pot and make sure it is heating up the water because I drink a lot of coffee. While I'm over there, I'll usually grab one of Stella's feeding tube bags. Those need to be changed every day. So here I am detaching the old one and then setting up the new one. No matter how many times I do this, I still struggle, so I sped this up as much as I possibly could. Next I'll let the dog out of his cage for the morning and then I'll take him outside to go to the bathroom. Depending on Stella's mood, I'll put her in her baby carrier or I'll just stick her in bed with Nick. It really depends on whether she's going to cry or not. Once we get back inside, usually the coffee pot is ready to go, so I will make myself my first cup of coffee of the day. Stella's first dose of reflux medicine isn't due until 8.30 a.m., so on this particular morning, I had some free time. So of course I spent that drinking my coffee and playing with the baby. At 8.30, I go into the kitchen and I start Stella's reflux medicine. This is 0.5 milliliters of medicine that I give her three times a day. So once in the morning, once around lunch, and once at night. I don't think I'm going to film that for the rest of the video, so just so you know, that happens three times a day. This second medicine is her seizure medication. This is something that I give her twice a day, so I'll only be showing you once in the morning because it's kind of repetitive to show you twice. All of Stella's medications go directly into her feeding tube. To do this, I have to get all of the air out of the tube first. This is called priming the tube. If I don't prime the tube first, she gets a stomach full of air, and gassy babies are super fussy. This part is a little gross, but completely necessary. This is called venting the tube. With this little device inserted directly into her feeding tube, I relieve all of the gas from her stomach without essentially burping the baby. This helps with her reflux and also just makes her more comfortable. This is something that I do multiple times a day, so again, I'm probably only going to film this once. After that's done, I can give her her reflux medicine. It's important that I give this to her an hour before she eats, otherwise she has severe reflux and it can be super painful. And then, like I said, we have an hour to kill before her breakfast, so usually we spend that cuddling, playing, just the usual stuff. After we play, I put Stella down for her first nap of the day. At 9.30, it is time to feed Stella. So while she sleeps, I will measure out exactly 60 milliliters of formula. This is how much she eats every three hours, day and night. It's a bit more complicated than just giving a baby a bottle. You have to adjust the feed rate, so just the right amount of milk goes in at just the right speed. Otherwise, she can get sick and usually ends up vomiting. An upside to having a baby with a feeding tube is I don't have to wake her up to feed her. So if I'm very careful when I'm putting in the tube, she could usually just sleep through her feed. Once the tube is all set up, I can give her her seizure medicine. This medicine, unlike the reflux medicine, can be given with her food. 
Stella's feeding pump runs for 30 minutes, which means I have 30 minutes to finish my coffee, watch Netflix, but usually I end up cleaning. And once Stella's awake, of course we have more time to play and cuddle. That doesn't usually last long. Babies sleep a lot. During her second morning nap is when I find time to wash my face, brush my teeth, or make breakfast. Stella has to be fed every three hours. That's during the day and at night. Along with her medications, these are all of my alarms for little things that I have to do throughout the day for her. When Stella wakes up from her second nap, that's when we have a little floor activity time. First, I'll change her diaper, then we have a little tummy time, and then we just play a little bit on the floor. She really, really hates tummy time. Please ignore the top of my head. I need to dye my hair so badly. Like I said, hates tummy time. Tummy time is exhausting, so Stella usually lays down for her third nap of the day. At 12.30, it's time to feed Stella again. Once again, this goes directly into her feeding tube. I'm going to stop filming this now because it usually goes the exact same way. Imagine this happening every three hours. When Nick finally graces us with his presence, depending on my mood, I will make him breakfast or lunch, usually lunch because he wakes up super late, or bring him coffee. Then I will make myself my second cup of coffee. We usually watch Netflix, something like that. Sometimes Stella will wake up and she'll join us and we'll pass her back and forth taking turns cuddling. Late afternoon is when Stella is primarily taken care of by Nick. This is when I'll be running errands, doing things for myself, making bottles, making dinner, that sort of thing. Stella uses a very special kind of formula. It's dairy free because she's allergic to milk protein. For dinner lately, we've been doing a lot of meal delivery services. This is 100% not sponsored. We just have no time to grocery shop or meal plan and this is super convenient. I really want to rave about these meal delivery services, but I don't want to sound like a commercial, especially since they're not paying me, which they totally should. It would be much quicker if my husband weren't so distracting when watching the baby. Once dinner's ready, we usually eat and then we have some family time. Everything after that I'm going to include in a nightly routine video, so keep your eye open for that. Other than that, I'm going to end the video here and say thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.